Alma Batia, and I am an actor and a singer, and I'm currently on Degrassi, and I play Goldie Mahir. I've been on the show for about two years. When I got the role, I was really, really happy because it was something that I had always been working towards because I had auditioned for the show like six times before I actually booked the role. So it was something that I'm really, really proud of because I've been working for it and I finally got it. <laughs> I don't, I still can't, I still don't think I believe that this is what I, what I do with my life. The fact that I get to play and I get to be other people as a career or that I get to sing every day Usually when I am going into the recording studio to record a song or when I'm working on set, it doesn't feel like work to me. I get shocked that I, that I get paid for it, actually, because it's just, it, to me, to me, making art is just making art. You make it because you love to do it, and the fact that it is a job is, like, it's amazing. I, I'm so grateful for that. It's probably still sinking in that... I'm, this is what I'm gonna do, and I'm putting all my eggs in one basket right now, and I'm just going for it. So if I fail, I fail. If I don't, I don't. I think just because I've been keeping myself so busy, I really haven't had time to sit back and really think about the fact that if this goes wrong, I'm gonna have nothing. <laughs> but it's just more like, I wanna be an actor. I don't want a backup plan. I'd rather fail doing what I love because if I have a backup plan, I, I probably don't love it enough or I'm, I'm too scared to pursue it fully. You can't listen to people when they say you can't do it. And I know this sounds so cliche because so many people say it, but it just, nobody ever really takes it to heart. You can't listen to people when they say you're not going to become an actor. If I listen to the people who laughed at me when I was 12 years old, when I said in school that I wanted to be on Degrassi, I wouldn't be on Degrassi. I always want to be in love with what I do. And so, um, no, it doesn't feel like work. It never feels like work to me.